I am Tom Dent, a Republican, a family man, a professional pilot, and rancher. I'm a lifetime resident of the Columbia Basin and your state representative since 2015. I have continually shown integrity, honesty, and strength through leadership and a strong commitment to these principles. I am asking for your vote for my proven quality in our government and to continue to project and keep your voices strong. Time has proven. The choice is clear. I am a uniter, not a divider. Paid for by the committee to re-elect Tom Dent, state representative. For residents of the Eniat River Valley, it's been a pensive summer filled with the looming reminders of another fire season that's knocking all too close to home. On Tuesday at noon, and for the second time in less than a week, the Chelan County Sheriff's Office placed those living along both sides of Eniat River Road above Potato Creek on a level three evacuation notice due to a sudden increase in activity to the Cougar Creek Fire. When the fires crested the Tyee Ridge again, um, in a couple places around the Tyee Lookout and then up around uh, Grandma Creek, a little bit farther north. And when it crossed that, that ridge, we evaluated the potential of the fire and the threat to the community of, down here in the Eniat Valley and decided it was time to re reinstitute the level three evacuation. Give the folks plenty of time to get out of the way just in case the fire comes down the ridge. There's a real potential for that to happen over the next couple of days. How far it's gonna come down, we don't know for sure but we sure wanted to give the people plenty of notice and time to move out. Fire officials say the implementation of the Level 3 roadblock at Potato Creek is a strategic maneuver based on the region's topography. So they put it here at, the, at this point on the Potato Creek and Indian River Road because the valley actually broadens out as you, as you go down the valley and it narrows as you go up the valley and there's only one way in and one way out from this point up the, up the valley. The only access out of here, the good Good, easy access out is down the Indian River Road. Sheriff's deputies staffing the barricade say there is a simple protocol in place for keeping non-residents out of the danger zone. It's a level three roadblock and so only residents are allowed. And so we confirm that they have resident status up here and we give them a resident number on their windshield and that way they don't have to stop every time that they come in and out. And we just keep track of who's going in, um, not who's going out, and we just log it. Um, so that people aren't in the area that aren't supposed to be there really. Many who reside within the Level 3 evacuation area have been on a heightened state of alert since just after the fire broke out and are now taking the elevated hazard very seriously. I'm hearing that it crossed over the ridge up here and they popped us back onto a Level 3, so it's time to pay attention. What are you doing to make preparations to leave or are you planning to leave right away? I've been, I'm, I'm set to go right now once they start, once the flames start coming down and splashing on my house and I see that I can't do anything with my hose, I'll be out of here. Fortunately, me and my sister live next door to each other up here and we've got a place down at the bottom of the hill, so unlike most of the people up here right now, we do have a place to go to at the bottom of the hill. Homes along Eniat River Road below Potato Creek to the intersection of Mad River Road all remain on level two evacuation notices. Since being ignited by lightning on June 28th, the blaze has grown to over 9,000 acres and has steadily been making its way toward several populated areas. With more fire spread expected in the days ahead due to very low humidity and high winds, it seems that no one in the Eniat River Valley will be able to rest easier anytime soon. Reporting for iFiber One News, I'm Chris Hansen.